All right, so crew chief, first of all, um, in iRacing, it has a spotter, but it doesn't really have a crew chief, okay? And what I do is, is I leave all the text warnings on, on the crew chief, on the, the spotter in iRacing, but I turn all spotter um, sound off, and then I run crew chief, okay? When you open up crew chief, um, you should go through the settings in here, and if you go to properties, you can go through the settings, and you can put your name in, like somewhere in here, you put your name in, so he'll say your name, um, and he just tells you what's going on. You know, like he'll tell you in each sector, he'll be like, "Hey, you're one one second off your uh, your best in this sector," or he'll be like, "That was the fastest lap time." You know, your last lap was blah 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 blah. And then he also is a spotter as well, so he'll be like, "Car on the left," when you're you know taking a corner, hold your line. There's a car on the left or a car on the right, and then he'll let you know when you're clear. So. Uh, which he just it just does a better job of the um, the spotter in iRacing. I also turn off voice recognition node. You can make it so like trigger words, like you can talk to him and ask him to do things. And I'm sure there's more things you can do with it that are super cool. I just all I use it for is the vanilla plain stuff that you can can do with it. So in order to use it, all you do is open up iRacing and hit start crew chief radio and check. you'll hear him say radio check and if you can hear him then you're good to go. You also want to make sure that you start it on iRacing obviously. I turn down the background volume because there's like, there you can hear like people and stuff in the background and I think it's dumb. I just want to hear Jim who's the, the name of the spot uh, in the crew chief. So that's crew chief. And then here's how you program your name right here. You can put Brett in there. Race Labs is probably the best set of overlays. There's a lot of things that go along with it, but the most important things are overlays. So each one of these, you can see if you have the diamond, that's the premium stuff. If you have, if it doesn't have a diamond, then you can use it. Same in the settings here. So like one thing that you might want to make an overlay for would be standings, right? Um, you just have an overlay and you hit open in overlay mode and this standing things will come up when there are actual standings in iRacing. And there's all kinds of customization behind it. So I'm not gonna tell you how to do this. You just do it on your own. Remember when you were like, I would like a track map. That is an advanced setting in this. So here's a track map right here. You can also, if you get if you get the um, the premium, you can make what's called layouts, okay? And so I have layouts that look like this whenever I'm racing and they're session specific. So I have a test racing layout, I have a practice racing layout, I have a qualifying racing layout, and I have a race racing layout. And it changes depending on what type of session I'm in. You can get by with this stuff that's in iRacing itself. Like you certainly can. Um, you don't have to get this, but uh, I think it looks cooler and there's lots of customization behind it. The one thing you can't get is telemetry in a line like this. That is, it's just bars when you see it um, in iRacing. You also can't get a radar, you can't get a track map. So I guess there's not a lot of things you can't get, but you can't, but you can still get by. Like this is a relative, you, you saw the relative black box, I showed you that. VRS is your ticket into getting faster. So every time you drive, it'll load your laps into VRS. Oh yeah, that's why it's running in the background because it's gonna download your telemetry as you do laps. So once you go to a session, like these are all different sessions, right? You can see I did seven laps in this. <laughs> Somehow I did eight unclean laps, even though I did total seven laps. Um, but if you go and look at your your lap times, you can pull fastest lap times. And then some of these packs are free. Like they call them data packs. So um, it, like if I wanted to go to, for example, the data pack for um, at Global MX-5, which is like your entry level uh, sports car. So let's see if they have it. So global 2024 Sebring, no, we don't want that. We want global Mazda MX-5. Here it is, it's free, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and subscribe to this data pack. And I wanna look at this data pack and, and look here, right here, VIR North, 135 is what the pro's running, okay? So I think you and I were running like, I think I ran like a 150 something on it when, I, when we were practicing. So if I go to the data pack, I can see 
not only uh, a video telemetry of this guy running the lap, but sometimes they even do like tutorials where they're running the lap. And you can see like, um, well, let me turn this down. You can see exactly, uh, you can see like, they, they'll give you like a narrative of how they run this track, okay? So you can pause it, you can stop it, and you can see, okay, his break point is, you know, right after the, the two the two marker, the two placard, right? That's when he breaks. He breaks to 80%, you know, 90%, and then he trails all the way into this this apex, and then he jumps back on the throttle, not completely, but jumps back on the throttle right after the apex. That's how most turns go. Um, but you can see when he does this, right? In addition to that, if I ran this, um, if I ran this specific track, uh, which I, I think I deleted mine already, I can go to my driving stats. Oh, actually, here it is right here. I could look at it. I could see what my, my fastest lap time was 148. And I could go and I could do a comparison to that target lap and see exactly where I'm messing up obviously right in here right because look at all the throttle where my throttle's the dotted line and i'm braking and i'm like you know easing up on the throttle and everything i probably just have the wrong racing line so a lot that i could improve on in here plus my speed is always right below the pros and then you can see all the turns i can look and i can say wow turn 14 and 15 i'm losing three seconds like that's obviously where i'm losing the most time i need to work to perfect that turn first Okay, so that's how VRS works. And if you do rookie, it's all free. If you decide to not do rookie stuff, then you start paying for things in uh, in VRS. What was the last thing? I did crew chief, oh, trading paints. Trading paints is really easy. So say we're racing the Global MX-5. I have my own paint on the Global MX-5, but say you're like, man, I really want to uh, I really want to change my paint. I don't like what, what, you know, what iRacing gives me. So you go to choose new paint, you say find a paint, you hit find more paints and then you can pick any paint you want for your car but the cool thing about trading paints is not just that you can pick your paints you can't see other people's cool paints from trading paints unless your trading paints app is running in the background what'd you say i wasn't paying attention at all no no, no i am I, I i couldn't see i was looking at other stuff you're killing me.